can you now? Are you, is this being shot in parallel or is this being shot linear? It was uh, being shot in um, in parallel mode, but yet using the mirror rig. Right. So it's not exactly a side by side right. um, setup, but this kind of setup, the the mirror rig, uh, is becoming more and more uh, used in 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 the profession, just because it gives you the possibility to go really close between the two cameras. And here we're shooting kind of like a, a large distance. We are shooting all the way up to I don't know like. 50, 100 meters long, but then if you were shooting something really close, like if I'm shooting the keyboard, for instance, and you're focusing on, on the keys of the keyboard, the distance is so close that if you actually want to see 3D onto that, you have to cheat it. You have to make as if your eyes were closer to each other, closer than a, than a, than a human face. So if you want to do that, then you have to make the cameras maybe like two centimeters or even one centimeters from each other, and that you need a, a mirror rig to be able to. Now, can you, let's say you're out in the field and there are some mistakes made, can you can Scratch repair it in post? Yes, uh, what I was talking about, having the two cameras um, with a specific distance between them, that doesn't have to be fixed during the shot. Um, when I say fixed, I mean like it doesn't change. So if you have an action in the footage where somebody is really far away, and coming close to you. If you want to keep a comfortable stereo effect to that footage, you're gonna want to change the distance between the two cameras during the filming, okay? Um, it's really hard, it's like putting focus between the two cameras. You're gonna make the distance between the two cameras change during the shot. Well, this, as I said, is not going to be perfect and Scratch in post-production is going to be able to fine tweak it, fine tune the image so that you have a very smooth transition between the guy far away and when he gets really close to the camera, like let's say, I don't know, he, can, he could stop like 10 centimeters from the camera and you want to see the footage, the, the stereo effect onto his face between the nose and, and, and the ears. That needs to have a very, very fine tuning of the distance between the two cameras during filming but also in post-production. And it's not just fixing, it's like doing color correction. Most of the time you're not hoping to fix something that was badly done during filming. You're hoping to embellish, to make the image look better than it actually already does. So in stereo, it's the same thing. You want to make a very much better than it is already. So that's, that's what we're aiming for when we do stereo in Scratch, but sometimes, yes, we do have a lot of fixing to do. Or no, another important feature is being able to do accurate color correction. Talk to me about that with Scratch. Well, it's really important in uh, stereoscopic footage because um, when you're using two cameras, uh, they are not going to be the same. Um, even with the most perfect technology, you're going to have a, a slight difference in light and uh, the lenses are also going to influence the, the way the camera reacts to what's happening in front of it. And there is also the mirror in the, in the mirror rig. So that adds up to the change of uh, color that your lens is going to reproduce into the camera. So um, here I've got some footage on the left that's quite different from the one to the right. Um, that's something that you need to fix in post. Uh, and we're talking about fixing, yes, I know, because this is a problem. And so uh, Scratch uh, is really good at it. It was actually uh, set up to be a very um, powerful uh, color correction system and so here I'm able to go in real time and, uh, and color correct um, this footage to be uh, matching more the footage to the right. Now obviously here I'm using the keyboard but I would be using the, the trackballs um, to have a more efficient workflow but see here I'm already getting a bit of the contrast. Now maybe the color correction is not perfect but we're getting better than we were before. Now, of course, you will need some time to tweak it perfectly, but that ability to go in real time and fix the color correction is a must-do for stereoscopic footage uh, post-production. The fact of the human eye, the human eye being quite forgiving uh, about color correction doesn't uh, keep us from working on that because the perfect stereoscopic footage in the end uh, will be related to how good the color correction was done. 
Now you've got practical experience with this because you're with Seismic Film, which is also with another company. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing also. Seismic Films is focused on the 4K uh, post-production, being the RED camera, but also any other camera uh, in high definition up to 4K. We're actually doing uh, all the way up to um, uh, film, film out, basically. Uh, but for stereoscopic projects, of course, there is no stereoscopic distribution to film, so we do the DCI mastering. Now that's all the post-production side of it. We have a sister company called LocaRed, which is uh, the first company in France to have introduced the RED camera. And this company has been quite active for now um, two years and a half and uh, has been uh, uh, renting the RED camera to productions uh, and has been documentary, has been uh, commercials, um, uh, fiction, short films, features. Um, so uh, it's, it's taking off uh, in France as in any other country and Locarred has been really active on it. The fact of the matter is that we've become uh, a training center. Uh, we are talking about becoming an official training center with RED as well, but uh, the French have a um, um, training um, entity that validates companies and we've been the first company in France to have been uh, given the label of official training center for the RED camera and we've uh, recently started to do uh, stereoscopic training as well using the RED camera. And Very good, congratulations. Thank you. That's it for everything about Scratch. Tune in for some more. Thank you, Arnaud. Thank you very much. Arnaud.